Hey, welcome back. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about auto layout. Now, uh, as you can see on the screen right here, uh, we have this uh, uh, preview right here. It's a preview on the iPhone 4 inch. Just make its height a little tall. So, this is the iPhone 4. This is how it is going to look. Uh, let's preview that on the iPhone 4.7 inch. So, as you can see, it's like a little aligned towards the, the left. Let's make the 3.5. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool in that one, and so on and so forth. So you could preview right there by just clicking this uh, this split screen right here, and then uh, this splits the screen into two, and then you'll be provided with a sentence file, and then you can just uh, select a preview right there, or right here, you know, whichever works for you. So that's you know, it's just something to look around on Xcode. It's pretty easy to you know walk around it, but it's not it's nothing at all. This is the preview. It's always good to look at how it looks on different screens because you just don't want to disappoint some users with big screens. Okay, all right. So we have those, and then now let's have a, bu a button here that uh, you know. So I'm going to type button, and I'm going to drag a button here. This is going to be a login button. I'm going to move it until it's the center. Those guys are showing up like a plus, and I'm going to say login okay and then I'm going to cr uh, also have a label and I'm going to say or so a label is uh, you know just a text uh, and then another button you could copy that if you want, or just drag another one. And then you could say create account and drag that. And then if you preview these in different screens, as you can see on the big screens, they are, <coughs> excuse me, uh, aligned towards the left. Now we want to, to do something called auto layout here in the right away. And to do auto layout, we simply select that, and then there is this. You click that, it's an add new constraint uh, feature that you click, and then you want to click, you say 36 away from uh, that's the margin away from the top, <coughs> or padding, or if you, whatever, uh, and then. You want to say, actually, don't worry about that. You can just say, just give it the width and the height to be, you know, to maintain that to 88 by 30, and then add those three constraints. And as you can see, it, sh it shows up, but it's now aligned towards completely towards the uh, left. So you want to click this other one right here, and then. I don't know if you can see, but this will, um, okay, that's that, and then, all right, well, it says horizontal center in, in container. You want to click that and then add that one constraint, and that will align it to the center. Do the same to this one. Just say you wanted eight from the top. You need to keep the width and the height to be that size. Add those three constraints. And then horizontal center in container. All right, so that centers it everything in the container. This one as well, the login button. I want to say eight from the top. Maintain that width and height. Add the three constraints, and then center in the container. All right, the same with the or. Okay, thirty-five width height. Uh, three constraints and center in the container create account same thing and it gets fun once you just click this so if you look around now on the preview they're all aligned in the center and the iPhone 4 inches 4.7 they're all in the center and they're looking just nice for all users. So that's cool. So that's pretty much good enough practice right there. 
All right, now one other thing that we need is the navigation bar. Okay, so I'm going to type navi and the navigation bar shows up and then I'm just going to drag that and just place it in there until that shows up until so I know it's centered very, very well and then I'm going to say give it a name of a uh, login and I'll just align it as well just by clicking it then doing the same here and it's just zero from the top and this one I want to give it 16 from negative 16 from the left and negative 16 from the light right I don't need to keep them with me uh, with and I do that level because uh, different screens might uh, have you know that will just stretch automatically by itself so I'll just add those three constraints and that is pretty much uh, done and maybe I can center it in the container as well so that it's just nice if it's you know see that it just shows up really nicely right there that's cool so uh, I will have to check on the color of uh, life update so that I could just start updating the colors but what for right now that pretty looks that looks pretty cool for uh, our login screen uh, so let's start by you know for example actually let's create a, uh, an account let's send users to, to, to register first so let's in the next video create a pathway where when the user clicks the create account they'll be taken to another screen so in the next video we'll be running the app and checking out how it looks so far and then creating a connection between uh, an app to another screen so see you in the next video